the summertime, the cask opens up and the spirit makes the journey. Every spring it starts to open and the spirit moves out, moving deep into the staves. And the cask says, welcome, come in, come in. And the spirit goes in and the cask will give it the lots of vanilla flavours and the wood sugars and the oak. And then come the fall, the wood shuts down, the spirit retracts, goes to sleep for the winter. Now you see that little bead of whiskey that's hanging from your finger? Why is it not falling off your finger? Correct answer. This whiskey is not chill filtered. The natural oil... I wanted to go back to making whiskey distilling. And Brooklady was the Cinderella distillery of Isla. It was always used as a blender's whiskey. It never achieved any status whatsoever as a single malt. And it was in dire straits. So I thought, yeah, there's a real chance here to go back home and take Cinderella to the ball, so to speak. Basically, a distillery is just a kitchen. It's like a kitchen. You have great equipment and you have great chefs. So if you have a great kitchen and great chefs and you produce the same menu every day, you'd be sacked. So I said about producing different styles of whiskey. So right now I make 12 different styles of whiskey. We go with one product, we are dead in the water because we are walking in the land of giants. I mean, the companies are surrounding us are like huge companies, you know. Brook Laddy, I gotta say, we're kind of recognized as the rebels of the track, you know, because we do stuff that nobody else does. And I started experimenting. We started making really heavy peated malt and now we make the most heavy peated malt in the world called Octomore. I distilled whiskey four times. That was the first time since 1695 it was done. We do use a lot of wine casks, but it's not just any wine cask. We use Chateau Latour, Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Margaux, Chateau Petrus. And it's bringing a whole new flavor to the world of whiskey. You ever had a peated malt from a Zinfandel cask? Ah, it's wicked. You shouldn't do it. It's just so exciting, you know, the Zinfandel and the red fruit and the buzz and it slams into the peat. You think, this is going to be a disaster, but it's like, Isla guy meets Californian girl. It shouldn't happen. We've got to move forward as a young consumer out there who wants exciting colors, exciting flavors, new tastes. And Isla barley is really, really special because Isla has been super saturated with salt for millennia. So the Isla barley has got this distinct taste we matured our whiskey right beside the Atlantic. The salt is landing on the cask. The cask is like your lung. It breathes in and it breathes out. When you pick up a glass of whiskey, what you should be looking for is the skill of the farmer, the maltman, the mashman, the stillman in the cask. So it's not just a drink. This is the blood of Scotland. <laughs>